Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Rob Pavarian and this is Crusader Kings 2 and we have returned to the Ka uh, Republic of Carthage or well, Carthage, I guess we are still in Nova Cartago and not in the original uh, It will come, it will happen, believe you me but for the moment we are Sophate Zephon, a new Sophate that has risen to power after the old one had become weak and died to a wound You know and honestly the, the old, the weak Sophate Eshmoniaton, he wasn't as weak as he will be remembered by history, but history always remembers things a bit differently. Wait, that is a Donibal, I meant you, Sofet Eshmoniaton. His last two years, three years maybe, were of course a disaster. Most of his family got imprisoned and is still imprisoned, but he also defended and expanded the Republic. He was the man to retake Carthage itself and begin the reconstruction of the port of Carthage. I personally believe that he will be seen as... An awful ruler that brought upon the Republic a terrible, a, a disastrous time of having to fend off some barbarians from Malta. But at the same time, close to my heart, he will be remembered as second only to uh, his father, Donibal, son of Mort. He was cruel and terrible, but he achieved a lot. And I think so did his son, Eshmon Yaton, and now the other son, Sufet Zephon, is in power. Let's just... Take a look at that. Can I? Do I have a powerful vassal? You know what? You're not amazing at it, but I'm going to make you the spy master. And I already thought about this off camera. I'm going to make. Uh, wait a minute, not you. I am going to make my designated heir Gerbal as the Muka, so that he gets some experience, you know, so that he gets some wonderful prestige and knows how to rule this country. And of course, most importantly, will be the one to overtake the Left family eventually, once he has enough. Prestige. That is the idea there. And then my other idea was that maybe could I have Katalo? So this is if I die, then he will be the heir to our current heir. If he dies, then he will immediately be the heir because he's our brother. So he will be the oldest of the family. Katalo, you are now the cartographer. That should bring you prestige. Is this true? Oh, and he's negative. Good God. Oh, he gets 1.5 prestige. That is... Whew, that is quite something. I'm gonna make you the High Admiral, thank you very much. Uh, the Trade Masters, well, yep, yep, yep. Why don't you just trade some, my friend? Now, for ourselves, I think we're going to go with Theology, because Zephon, uh, he is a shrewd person, frail, proud, and we're never gonna lead an army. Content, temperate, paranoid, and kind. I think he thinks the guards did what they did when they took our family prisoner, or when they, well, made our family be prisoners. So what I'm gonna go ahead with is I'm gonna make it so that he will pray to the gods for forgiveness. And speaking of forgiveness, he is old and yet has never visited the Astarte Temple. So let's just go there. I do what I must and it shall be done. Hey, my friend. Oh, you don't want this, huh? Oh, he's, I already sent it to him. I am very smart. In incredibly smart, I would argue. Now, let's make this our crown focus. Carthage will be the capital when we're done with it. Maybe not with this character, but with this very character, I would love to reform... The religion. So that is what I am setting out to do. Look at Riga down here. Damn. Ooh, the Ibadi. That's cool. We surrender. Yes. Give me the city. Thank you very much. Oh, I, I will absolutely become zealous. The journey is long and unforgiving. Why would Astarte make us walk so far? Is it for her amusement or part of her divine plan? And I'm zealous. Yes. I actually love that. Now we just took a city. And that city needs to go. Because if I have it in my possession, that would be terrible. And I think I also have to get rid of some of the other titles that we currently hold. Let's let's have a look at this, right? I want to. I think we're going to get rid of these two because those two are not trade provinces. Oh, you actually are. That is the Lev family, so I don't actually make that money, not properly anyway. I'm going to give away Sukunta and Anibal. And yeah, look at Lev, damn, they dominate over there. They really do. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's give these two away. Maybe even, nope, not to our family because then they will just go and become the wrong government type to inherit. Instead, I would love to give it... Oh, yeah, look at you. Absolutely beautiful. Anibal shall be handed over. And then, of course, another amazing personality, Sukunta. There you go. It should not cut too deeply into our possessions, you know, into our income, etc., etc. But speaking of income... We will, of course, and you can come back, we will, of course, have to get rid of some of our troops at the very least. So, what I want to do is, you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, that's so expensive. Let's just have a look at this. Ooh, a disaster has happened at the Spices Plantation in Carthage. Unless I invest money, the plantation will have to be terminated. You know what, I'll invest, sure. Ah, disgusting. 
So we are preparing. We are preparing. Jesus, we will barely have any levy. Uh, we are preparing to eventually, you know, transfer everything we have over here to Carthage. Now, to do that essentially means that we will have to go on and lose most of our possessions over here. Which is why I was so entirely okay with, you know, doing what I just did there. Doing that means that I do no longer have to get involved over there. I would love to keep Alonis though. I'll be honest with you about that. Oh man, I don't even earn that much money from there, do I? And yeah, we are losing a bit of money now. I hate it. If I, dissolve, uh, if I dissolve these mercs, though, we will surely be attacked because the people here always attack us when it's just the worst time. You know what? I'll do it. Let's just gather some money. Let's try to make some money. Let's head in as well. Well, at least this one is not ugly. And we've done it. We've done our service. And I'm certain that the goddess will thank us for it. I am absolutely certain. And I could be 6 out of 7, but as I said, I want to transfer my properties anyway. Um, Pay as much as you can. Still only the interest, huh? Yep, we just do not have the money. And now we make 34. See, this is what I was talking about. We need to make some money, repay the loans, and then go on and do it. Ooh. And yes, please buy... Uh, please pay... Please give me my relatives back. That is what I meant to say there. The Council of... Where were they? Valentina. Valentina. I think that is somewhere up here. That council has happened, and apparently... The Cathar faith has been established further. There is now a greater doctrine, and honestly, look at this... The Holy Roman Empire being in the firm grip of the Valdensians is absolutely insane to me. It is absolutely insane how Caesar Flores is actually doing this. His Imperial Decay is at 41%. If he does not watch out, the HRE may collapse in our time. Isn't that absolute insanity? How's he doing against this rebellion? That is the bigger question here, I feel. Claim on Honey. So he wants to go for Forrest Goswin's claim. Let's have a look at this. Oswin, there he is. Really? A married priest? I don't be ridiculous, but if they did that, it would essentially mean that, well... The Holy Roman Empire would become even weaker, although, of course, Catholic again. And don't forget that the Pope is now in the era of Crusades, and the Jihad era has also begun. We could become the target of any of those. It would be absolutely awful. Now, he does not hold anybody... No, he does hold two people prisoner. Arashtibal and Isabel. Hmm, where are those kids? Well, thank you. I don't even see him here. That is, I guess... Ah, there you are. Arashtibal. Why don't you come home? And then I will teach these fools a lesson. Now, my question here is... We have a truce until 1132. It would be beneficial to both me and you because it would be over quicker for you, which you should enjoy. It would be beneficial if you died right away and I could then go on and destroy whatever you love, hold dear, and own. Or at least, you know, have the idea of owning, even though, of course, it is right properly my property. Now, what I was also thinking is, why don't we just sell most of these? Oh, 365 bucks. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much. Um, will I give you the funds? You know what, Catalo? Absolutely. Become an amazing trader. Please. Paying you this blood money that these other fools were giving me just a second ago. Will surely be of benefit to both of us. So my plan right now is I want to take Malta. I want to build a temple there. They don't have a temple if you, you know, take a look here. Uh, right here, I mean. They don't have a temple. I want to build a temple there. And then we will be in a position of actually being able to reform the faith. Because then we hold three holy sites, Carthage, Malta, and good old Baleardides, which is Mallorca. I want to get this out of my face. And doing that is the perfection. Wait, did Cartalo die? No way. Why are you no longer my trade master, man? What happened? I gave him money and all and... Oh no, your cartographer. Why is he not the cartographer, though? Am I going crazy? Aren't you at my court anymore? No, he is. He just must have stepped down, I guess. Jesus. Why would you... Why would you step down? Why would you step down? See, those are the questions that I simply cannot answer. Ah, yeah, that's... That's exactly what I thought. What is he coming for? It's you, and you're coming for good old Zelda. Of course you are. So I must smash you. You have 2.32k units, and I still have all those big loans. Oof. That hurts. That really hurts. Can I banish somebody for big profit? Absolutely no. 
absolutely no profit whatsoever. 0 0.6 gold. That's not even worth a goddamn mention. Uh, why do we go on? Try to sell more prisoners. No, at, at some point you gotta sell them anyway. And then we hire some mercs. Mandikalo horsemen it is, I feel. There we go. Alright, well. We need something like a standing mercenary guard. That is what we really need in this world. Not even kidding. I legitimately believe this. If we have... Uh, really? No, no, no. We, we going home, buddy. If we had a standing mercenary guard, none of this would be an issue because then nobody would attack us. They would not think they could take us. I don't know you. I'm not gonna bother with that. Are you crazy? And I think we can defeat these rebels immediately. Mm, nope. You're not gonna... Nope, no, 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 no. I rule you, dude. Get out of here. Get out of my face. All right, let's walk in. I think we can take him here. They're just peasants. Oh. What? How did that just happen? I kind of insta-wiped him? Damn. Impressive. Somehow. Don't actually know how that happened. All right, let's go in here. I think we can take it at half damage. Uh, at half morale, I mean. I think we can definitely take them. He wants to teach me how to be a better member. Oh, and would you look at this? We actually get a positive train. A trait. Oh, and we have become just... We are a good ruler, aren't we? Very virtuous and as well, just in general. That is quite nice. Accepts the mission, trade negotiations. Absolutely. I'll help you. Uh, maybe you'll even give me some money. I, I've seen that before. They sometimes give you money. The angry lord has finally arrived at a court. You allow him audience in your chambers. He seems reluctant to give ground. This is going to be a long debate. I am amazing at both state stewardship and state diplomacy. Let's go with the uh, with the stewardship, yeah? My mercenary skills will make this easy. I'm glad we could reach an agreement. Eha, and we even got some of the money. Thank you very much. Ooh, and this could actually be close. No. I may lose this. It, it's not a, you know, it, it wouldn't really mean too much. What do you want? A body revolt? What is happening here? You? What is happening here? Your realm actually split? How the hell? How the hell did that happen? Yeah, I mean, I can take this wall. That's not a problem. You are of a different... Uh, of the same dynasty, and you have claims on one another. Very strange what exactly happened here. If this was inheritance, since when do Muslims... No, in the yep, installation, my faction demand. There you go. That's what I was thinking. That makes much more sense then. I will take care of the rebellion soon, but I hope that he will get, you know, his family under control, or else I will have to be the one that does it. The one that brings them back into the fold. Believe you me, you don't want me to be the one. If care about a chance, absolutely. But out less well than expected. Ugh. Isabel, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, why don't you marry a Donibal? There you go. Some in marrying has never hurt anybody. Never. Alright, we're taking them down here. This is easy money. I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be over in just a bit. He married somebody. That is okay, Balthazar. As long as you give me children of my dynasty, I am very happy about it. And I'm sorry, but he will stay where he is. Are you insane? Why would I put you in charge if I could have vassal in charge? I don't want that priest in my land. Thank you for asking, though. He may take this, but... He's done. This war's over. And with that war, of course, also his ambition to anything in the region. Would you look at all that prestige, all that money, all that piety. God, I love when the AI attacks you. It is absolutely amazing. Alright, let's head in right here. I love Castile, by the way. The way they actually took stuff over here. How did they even do that? How did they get away with this? Alright, let's take down this Martula province and make sure that they will never stand again against any of my subjects. Alright, we're doing great though. I, I will tell you that much. And I will also take a gander now. Yeah, why is this not firing? If he were to die today, it would be absolutely amazing. And look at this family tree. Jesus. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. So they actually hold land over here. That is why he even came to power. Fascinating. Oh, approve the plan. Do it. It must be done. It must be done indeed. 
Considering the influence and power Carthage and the Phoenicians had in their heyday, very little remains in terms of their buildings and architecture. Most of what was built was either destroyed completely or left to slowly crumble over the years. Perhaps now is the time. Uh, let me actually repay this first. Perhaps now is the time. To, for you to go out and learn about the ancient architectural methods. Absolutely, tell me about it. I live my life as other men do right. I've seen that before. Failure. Oh, man. Oh, no, I was revealed. I would you stop the... Did I say stop the coup? Are you insane? Are you insane? Of course I'm not going to stop the coup. Where, where do you think... Who do you think I am? 14 years of age. Uh, he is my brother. Oh, my nephew, actually. Pardon me. I'll, I'll make you... One of those. Content. Yeah, that's a good one. Amir Mundir of the Alabadi Imara has won. That is good for me, right? Yes, I think. Unless they captured somebody surprisingly, which I don't think to be the case. That is just great. Very, very nice. And we are still losing money. Now, how more mercs? See, I didn't even realize this. If I did, no, I did not. Oh, they just went up to 40 bucks. That is so expensive. Well, we are loan free. So I don't think that is that big of an issue. I'm almost willing to break the truce. In all, in all, in all honesty, I'm almost willing to break the truce. Think about it. What's the worst thing that can happen? People disrespect me in the Muslim world? We're gonna go haywire on those people. Look at this. All of this land needs to do, uh, belong to us so that we can actually restore the Carthaginian Republic. So absolutely, I do not care if the Muslims disrespect me. But if I do... You know, if I do get into a situation where I can just kill him, it would make everything easier, so why not? What do you want? Uh, you want to be on the council, huh? Nah, I think we're good. Sorry to tell ya. Sorry to tell you. Hmm. Yeah, we are losing money, and as long as he is alive, had he died in that first assassination attempt, that would be amazing. Oh no! Up ahead, the once calm blue sky is being swallowed up by thick as storm clouds. There seems no way of steering out the storm. Everyone on deck begins to head below and pray for safe crossing. Oh no. Whew, that was so lucky. We are on the way to Phoenicia and we almost died. And a lone bowman may take out Wali Mujahim. They are beginning to enjoy wandering amongst remnants of ancient civilizations. The variety in this area is staggering. Suddenly from behind you, a chunk of pillar snaps from its base and hurtles towards you. With no time to react, you are left pinned. 10% chance of I die. Anyone help? You know what? Would he, scry would he cry for help? He's frail. He would absolutely cry for help. After a few minutes, a local hears your cry for help and drags you out. You are helped to the nearest physician's office to stabilize your wounds. The man that rescued you, however, asks for payment, stating that if he wasn't there, you would have died. You know what? Am I not already charitable? Am I? Am I? Nope, we are not charitable. You know what? Of course. We'll be paid handsomely. I'm a rich man. Oh, and he... He's gone. You know what time it is. You know what time it goddamn is. Out of the boats. Malta will fall. Malta will be ours. And I may have to take a small loan. Ugarit is the next stop on the journey. Along with some Phoenician remains, there are also the uh, remnants of the Hittites from the late Bron uh, Bronze Age. You decide to investigate a local temple ruined by ages of decay. Once inside, you discover that this was the old temple of Ugarit. What's this? The Baal Cycle itself. This must be the only copy of the old Baal Cycle. Finally, this ancient text has been recovered. The Baal Cycle in our treasury. Dude! That is super cool. Quality 5! Oh my god! Wild cycle is an epic. Dude, this is amazing. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Good start. I am now virtuous. I will also pay interest. Thank you. Alright, and now we shall start the war. Malta will be mine. Nobody will stand in my goddamn way. Let's become a paragon of virtue, sure. Don't have a nickname yet. Maybe we can, you know, earn like something like the holy in the meantime. Is that educating you? Oh, cool. Let's take him out. How are we doing in terms of uh, prestige, by the way? 
he's he's raising he's he's racing the others and look at that 11.84 every month that is significant that is incredibly strong all right let's take down malta malta has fallen with malta fallen there's only one thing that remains first of all of course grant the land I'll give it to gerbal but he's my heir definitely not Go to a random new Punic ruler and how much does it cost? 544. Let's take up. I want to take up a huge loan. Are you crazy? Sure. Almost the same result. But here we are. Uh, let's take up the loan here. Build a temple. We need a temple so that I may then reform the faith. Oh, what a glorious day. Let me tell you. What an absolutely glorious day. And I will actually dissolve this because we need to make bank now. And I know somebody will probably declare war on us. Ooh, now they're weak. We're never weak, brother. <sighs> Why are you even so foolish to attempt this? God damn it. All right, you shall marry this man. But he will not be a council member. We're beginning to enjoy... Right. Another pillar. It's amazing. Of Oh, the variety in the story. Suddenly from behind you, a chunk of pillar snaps from its base and hurtles towards you. With no time to direct, you're, la you're left pin. Excuse me? I'm inviting pillars to help me? I will invite these people that apparently are helping me, I think. Pretty sure they are. That was a strange event. But you know what? I'll take it. Excuse me? Cumin Company? Yeah, that's definitely, again, the bug. I don't, I don't, I don't know how that works. People just get randomly in prison. It's just the, the prison roulette, okay? I don't, it's not inside of my power. I, it is, this is not my power. It's just happening. Oh, I can't wait. The faith will be reformed. It will be done. Now it is time to leave. You have learned so much about the Phoenician architecture and the way the people used to live during the height of the Canaanite civilization. Hopefully the return journey won't be so eventful. I have returned. Hello, Juba. Nice name. So, we are now in a situation where apparently people want to rise up. I can dedicate temples, but none of that is relevant. Because the only relevant thing is that the faith shall be restored. With the faith restored, we can then hopefully move on and do what is necessary. Wait a minute. Um, I think I will have to. Let me raise all of you, first of all. Let me raise all of you right here. I think I will have to plunder some, quite frankly. Ah, oh, damn it. I hate these boats sometimes. Uh, give me this, give me that, give me this. Really? Can't embark? Are you crazy? Oh. No, oh, all of you totally can embark. What are you doing? And these ships aren't going anywhere. Why are you going somewhere? Didn't I take that out? It apparently did not, right? Tells you a story. Excuse me? Why are you... Am I actually going insane? I can't do that? Apparently I can't. There you go. Good God, okay. <laughs> I think we will have to raise... Uh, we will have to raise the uh, moral authority a bit by, you know, plundering. That's what you do, really. Or oh, do you want me to build a new city? You know what? I shall accept that because I will build new cities in Kartadasht, in Carthage proper. It will be done. It will be done indeed, okay. Now, with, ev with everyone here, I can safely disband all of you. Then we'll start taking out the enemies all around us. Tabneet, sure. Shall be the new spy master. 1,466. My big question is, what are you doing? You have 2,119 troops. Actually, 2,190. That's the correct term. Navara. I think you're the easiest target. Take down your capital and all of the churches within it. It shall be done. Yeah, moral authority is fairly low here. Why is that? Failed county conquests, one holy wars, successful county conquests? If somebody rebelled against me and was like, yo, this is a uh, religious rebellion, that would make things easier, you know? There you go. Let's pay back all of our loans. Thank you very much. That's what I'm here for. I educate you. Well, that's of course diplomacy then. I'm a terrible educator, by the way, but I think he would like to ca take care of some people himself, sure. I can see that. I can see that being a thing, you know, absolutely. 
Pay to stop the criminals. No, we do not associate with the criminals. Don't even talk to me, my man. Remember the time we literally got Robin Hood? I remember. Did we kill them all? I think we did. Oh, and Castile just split. Now that is interesting. Now that is how you lose the game. Hello, Ray Sancho the Third, and hello, Ray Abril. May the gods be with you. Wink, wink. I, of course, mean may they not be with you. Guard him. Uh, you want to trade here, huh? Thank you for the money, dude. I appreciate it. <laughs> Friend of mine, for sure. And that did give us infidel temples looted. See, that is what I'm here for. Do you have a... Oh, two temples. Dude, I am ready. And we totally can siege them out as well. Very, very nice. Let's take them down. Oh, no. I just noticed my wife... My game just minimized, and for a second I thought to myself, if this game just crashed, I will regret ever laying eye upon this wonderful, wonderful episode. But it did not. Give me the money, thank you. I will take you out. And with that, I will further our moral authority. And there you go. Here comes the churches, and with the churches comes the moral authority. We will have enough, after HIP rules, to uh, go on and actually reform the re uh, religion. Absolutely excellent. Oh, Hannibal's legacy! Hannibal's name has become a byword for military prowess and ingenuity. In Italy, he crushed the Romans on numerous occasions, most notably at the Battle of Cannae, where he exploited the Roman overconfidence in their central formation, defeating the cavalry on the flanks and encircling the remains, inflicting huge losses to the trapped Roman infantry. We should set about recovering the artifacts once possessed by this heroic man. You know what? I want to get the armor. Absolutely. Bring me the armor, fellas. Bring me the armor for sure. Oh my god, and I actually entirely destroyed this temple. That is rude. So I welcome it, of course. Now the good old temple holding here has not yet been built. But we will almost be there. Once it is built, it, this will be literally it. Gorgeous. I, I love it. I really do. What are you doing? Are Raiders of Balsa? Seems okay. I gotta take- I gotta take this out, I think. It'll be risky. It'll be quite risky. I think we'll be fine eventually. Who's educating you? Teach him in humility, dude. Teach him in humility. You know, imagine somebody comes up to you and is like, teach this child how to be, you know, uh, like, essentially somebody that bows before everyone. Isn't that kind of rude to say? I feel like it is. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Oh, and there they come. See, do we have the time to actually take out this church? That is that is the biggest question here that I have. I'm gonna invest you, by the way. Thank you. What about some more cities and temples? Legalism, always good. Oh, and I'm a raider. Wait, am I leading this? No, I'm not. I'm just known as the raider king, I guess. Because my troops raided all of the churches in Iberia. Well, that's a big amount of troops. Are you fighting somebody else? Nope, I'm the only one. Oh, we can take it out in time. Beautiful. Whilst researching the armaments of Hannibal Barker, your researchers think they are closer towards pinpointing the location of at least one of the pieces. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, and here we go. The religion can be reformed. Now, I asked you, what should we do with this? How should we reform it? And, you know, what exactly do we do there? Now, I have an answer for you. I saw all of the suggestions, most of which were incredibly interesting. We're never going to choose temporal, don't even think about it. We're going to choose hierocratic. We're going to have a head priest. Who will be the most important pleasure, uh, or who will have the pleasure to be the most important source of all information in the realm. Uh, we will also be dogmatic. I would love to be cosmopolitan, but I have had experience with cosmopolitan, and it just means that literally none of your realms converts, and all of the non-cosmopolitan religions, which is literally everything else, you know, Catholicism, Orthodoxy, Islam, all of which will all of a sudden try, you know, to have secret cults and go around and do this and that. It was a very, very tiresome trade to pick in my SPQR playthrough. Instead, we're going to go with the good old uh, dogmatic, which apparently I can't pick because syncretism. Right, I do not care for syncretism. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you very much. What I care about is Moloch's Flame. And then we're going to go with dogmatic here. Base moral authority is high. Great holy wars are allowed. This religion does not allow marriage with infidels. Rulers waging war against members of their own faith lose piety. The way I see it, the Canaanite faith was not a dogmatic, not an aggressive kind of faith. But with history, they have learned that they must beat, if necessary, beat the knowledge and 
the belief into the old system, into their people, or they will lose it all the same. And that, of course, cannot happen. I think that is exactly what we're going to do. I think this would be kind of cool, a religious tax. But then again, there's also astrology, of course, which is actually pretty decent. Pretty, pretty decent. I honestly feel... Somebody suggested Seabound. I don't, I, don't, I don't care for those, really. What I would like is equality, because then we can also sacrifice female children, but we are a merchant republic, meaning I literally cannot do this. I am thinking maybe Seabound. But these days, the, the castles here in the major rivers are too well protected. You can't actually siege them down. So you know what? Instead, I think we shall go with good... Uh, as, I mean, astrology isn't bad. Hmm. I think we're going to go with a religious tax. We're going to be a very, you know, inter-religious empire. And that has to be reflected. And we have always been... We can already do air designation because we're a merchant public, so this means nothing. Otherwise, I would probably pick this. But we've always been in multicultural realm, right? And because of this... If you live here, you may not be included in our society. You may not marry our men or our women, but you may live here if you pay the tax. The Canaanite Reformation. The ancient Canaanite religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways, the Sufet Zephon of Kantadash and the most powerful priests have uh, come together have decided to reform the Canaanite faith in order to ensure the preservation of their ancient customs. Now organized in a strict hierarchy with an official religious head, this event could mark the beginning of a new era of pagan revivalism all throughout Europe. See, I doubt the last part there, but hello, Adunon Hailama. How art though? Would you look at this? All of a sudden we have a high priest, he has to do his own stuff, you know, take care of everything. I could request claims here as well, etc, etc. He is the Pope, but Canaanite. And soon, with this now restored faith, we will be in a position of eliminating every single person that stands in our way. And let me tell you, we shall do it. What's our moral authority? 56. That's pretty decent. I, I welcome this. Especially because we only have four holy sites. Technically, it would be uh, 60 because I hold Carthage, but the game, or the save rather, just bugged out. And look at this. All of a sudden... Beautiful, beautiful holy wars. And in the next episode, we will start the absolute blobbing all over Africa. Kartadasht is here. And the, uh, the Carthaginian Republic will rise. Ooh, form the Tanit God. Our newly reformed Canaanite faith is in dire need of protection. So by establishing a militant band of zealots, we can ensure our safety from Christian and Muslim heathens. These shall be the Tanit God, sword, pr uh, sw sword protectors of Carthage and faithful to Baal Hamon. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll pay that. Absolutely. The Tanit God. At the behest of Sufet Zephon, a new holy order calling themselves the Tanit God have arisen. They are the stalwart defenders of the Canaanite faith and will seek to hunt down and destroy any heathens who might harm it. This new militant band of warriors is sure to cause a lot of commotion in the Mediterranean as followers of other religions grow ever fearful of the rising Canaanite threat. But the Tanit God under the leadership of these zealots are unlikely to remain dormant for long. Nice. Absolutely nice. Let's get rid of this stuff. There you go. Research the Abrahamic faiths. <laughs> maybe we're going to do this when this playthrough ends. If you don't know about this yet, maybe we're going to do this when this ends, okay? It's a, it's a... We'll take a look at it, okay? I will see you. Oh my god, what? Oh my god! Oh no, France, what did you do? Alright, well. That's quite something. I will... Oh, and they just lost the independence of all of those fellas. How are you doing? Oh, 42%. I will see you in the next episode of this playthrough, which will now rapidly, rapidly speed up because of the Reformation, the Holy Wars, and everything that is to come thereafter. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and later, alligator.